My name is Trevor Babb and I am a 4-H STEM Youth Ambassador. I created a tutorial for the WeDo 2.0 system. So without further, further ado, here is how you find building instructions to build your LEGO model. To find the building instructions for one of LEGO's models, we first need to open up the WeDo software. On my computer, it's under applications, and I'll scroll down to the bottom. And the WeDo app has this Lego head right here, so I'll click it. It takes the WeDo software a couple seconds to boot up. Alright. Once we have the software all booted up, you'll come to this screen. These are some older programs that I've been working on, but right now we're going to make a new program. So we'll click this book with the plus sign. That'll generate a new program, and we'll come to the Getting Started page. Here you can see the Milo the Science Rover and the different versions of the projects we can do with that. But for right now, I'm going to be working on Drop and Rescue. So this uh, is basically a weather-related project. This is an overview video about what the project is. These are questions that you would use in a classroom environment to interact with your students and make sure that they are learning and engaged with the project. So, But I won't be focusing on that right now. This is a video that summarizes exactly what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be building this Lego helicopter model, and you'll see me build that in a couple minutes. And then I'm also going to be building these little Lego uh, structures at the bottom. Lastly, we'll be programming with the WeDo software, and I'm going to show you how to do that after I build the helicopter. So on this next tab, here you can see um, this is what we're going to be building, and if you drag the slider around, you can see all of the instructions on how to build the model. Letting you end up with a fully operational Lego helicopter. All right. On the next tab, this is a video about how to connect the start smart hub to your computer. So this will basically allow your computer to interact wirelessly with your Lego creation to make it move. What this video basically says is that if you click the red button on the top of the little Lego box they give you, and then go down over here. Once you click that green button, it'll show up on the list right here as Lego Smart Hub. And once you click it, it should connect the computer to the Smart Hub, therefore allowing you to move the motors or interact with the sensors. So now I'm going to show you how I built the Lego helicopter.
this is the next part of the we do tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to program the model you've built to uh, do what you built it to do so you saw me build the Lego helicopter and now I'm going to make it pull the winch up and down the next tab here shows you how to program it so we're going to be building or programming this uh, series of blocks the first thing we need to do is bring up a start block right here so every time you need to start your program you'll just click that block and it will execute the program the next thing we need to do is bring up the motor power block so also as you can see when you get close to the start block um, it highlights gray which means it's going to automatically put it right next to that and build and start to build your program so if you don't see that then it's just going to drop it where you left it but if you bring it closer it'll automatically snap this block means that when we turn the motor on it's going to run at 8 power and that means we do runs at a scale from 0 to 10 so that's really 80 percent of the full 100 percent that the motor can produce the next block we're going to be pulling is the motor counterclockwise block so the motor is going to run at 8 power or 80 percent power and it's going to do this running counterclockwise after that we're going to bring up the motor for time block this means that the motor is going to run at 8 power counterclockwise for right now it's one second we need to change that to two seconds in order to do that we click the one that brings up the number bar here on the bottom and we click the two that changes it to two and then when we're done we just click the white or well now gray area and it will go back now when I click this button it's gonna run the as you can see it did a little light show it will run the motor at 8 power counterclockwise for two seconds and once that's done there's nothing else here so the program is gonna end and your motor is gonna stop we need to make two programs however this one which is the one I just made will bring the winch up while this one, the one I'm about to make, is going to bring the winch down. So as you're playing with the helicopter, you'll click this button, the winch will go up to pick up uh, the Legos, and then when you're ready to put them down, you'll just click the button I'm going to put here, and the winch will go down to drop the Legos. Now, in order to build that second program, we're going to get another start block right here. And Weedo has many blocks in all different shapes and sizes, so you can do lots and lots of different things with the we do system as you can see once we have our start block we're going to get a motor power block and we're gonna have it snap right next to it again we're gonna have this motor run at 8 power as well this time we're gonna have the motor run clockwise because this one has the motor run counterclockwise to lower sorry raise the winch this one's going to have the motor run clockwise to lower the winch. Lower the winch. <coughs> Excuse me. The final block is going to be again another motor weight block, and we're going to change this one to two. So I'm going to click the number. I'm going to click the two down here, and I'm going to click the gray area. And now I have two programs. This one is going to run the motor at eight power counterclockwise for two seconds to bring the winch up. This program is going to run the, uh, the motor at 8 power clockwise for 2 seconds to lower the winch. And that's how you program we do. One thing I should mention, if your program is running haywire, for example, if there's something wrong and the motor is running forever and it's not going to stop and it's going to crash and break your model and you need it to just stop immediately so you can fix whatever the issue is, you can just click this box up here. This is the emergency stop button. So if your motor is running forever and it's about to crash, if it's gonna, about to snap the winch or whatever, just click this button and it'll automatically cease 
uh, stop the program wherever it is so you can not break your layout model. So that was we do programming. I showed you how to find building instructions up here and then how to program it with the uh, different blocks. So thank you very much and I hope you have fun with the WeDo system.